startup or you're starting something new, to build an audience, uh, there are a number of different things that I do. Now the collective is kind of a bit of an anomaly. I've never seen anything quite like it. Uh, but what I would say is, there's a few things. Firstly, know your passion and your why and your values and your beliefs and what you stand for and make those kind of not negotiables. And I think if you're coming from a real place of integrity, then you know it's it's really kind of easy to move forward and somehow serendipitously, serendipitously <laughs> it, you get surrounded by the most extraordinary people. The second thing is, um, have, an, have extraordinary content or an extraordinary product that you know fills a market gap. And the third thing is, you know, market the hell out of it. Uh, and I think what's been really interesting is with the collective, building an audience, um, we were very lucky in a way. I guess there was nothing in the marketplace like it. And because I was being an entrepreneur for entrepreneurs, um, I kind of came from a place of, I think this is what people want to know. For me, it was all about stripping back and going, what, but what's the story behind the story? But why, but why, but how, but how? So because I had that insatiable thirst for knowledge, other people did as well. So when I put the product out there, suddenly people just carried it for us, you know, and social media has been one of the most extraordinary things. You know, people just kept sharing the cover and amplifying the message. Something that I've learned about building an audience is people want desperately a reason to belong and to be part of something. So if you let them in, and I always say I might own the collective 100% financially, but it's our community who owns it. And so continuously I'm empowering them to kind of go, do with it what you want. Like this is your baby as much as it's my baby. And so people have just jumped in and been extraordinary. So that's one thing, like give them a reason to belong and then they'll amplify it across social media. One of the biggest things that we've done, and I've got three full-time staff now who purely do non-monetary partnerships. So we've kind of looked at who's got like-minded but non-competing um, audiences and how can they help amplify the collective message out there. So we do a lot of sampling at you know, lots of entrepreneurial and creative conferences. We realize that content now is one of our currencies, so we can say, hey, let's do a story on you. Can you do this for us? So we've done, I mean, we literally have thousands and thousands and thousands of different relationships all over the world now. So um, that's really helped us to kind of build the community and build our audience by kind of tapping into those like-minded, non-competing brands.